Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. So we do a quick comparison of the Meeple Source uh, upgrades you can get versus the cubes that come in the game. So there's four upgrades that you're going to get which is the cake, the wine, the bread, and the coffee. So what's gonna come with the game are these really small undersized cubes. In exchange, you can upgrade them to add in these coffee motif. That looks a lot better if you ask me. Uh, surely it's just cosmetic, but you can definitely see the difference in the items that you can get. Here you're gonna see the difference between a brown cube and a loaf of bread, I think it is, or a baquette that you can have in there. You can just see that it kind of looks more like and thematic about what you're going to get versus, you know, just a regular or a cube. You can see the wine glass here with the, with the wine bottle that's kind of set in that versus just the cube. So most people are probably going to like this. It's a matter of if you want to pay the price to upgrade these. These meeple source things are not cheap. You see the piece of cake. It's a really nice motif. I think all of these are very nice. So cubes, this is a little bit more of a side by side look of the cake, the wine, the bread, and the coffee that you're going to have here and the upgrades that come with the Meeple Source. So you would definitely get a bunch of these. So you can see that with the wine itself, there's quite a bit that comes in here uh, that you'd be able to refill this up, but you can kind of see that the upgrades and how much better that they look than just a stinky old cube. And a lot of people are gonna wanna upgrade this just depending on price and what you're willing to invest into this game or invest into your games in general. And some people it might be different between upgrading this and buying a different game. Of course, maybe a different game would be that, but for those who like to splurge, and like to upgrade with something like this, this is really gonna make your game stand out and look a lot better. So here are the upgraded components from Deluxe Edition. I thought I would take a moment to kind of showcase these also. So you can see here that the Meeple Source is always gonna be on the right and the Deluxe Edition is gonna be on the left. So this wine glass is actually pretty cool looking. I like it quite a bit, but this one has got the silk screen on it. It's got the bottle and the glass, it's kind of cool. I think the cake is definitely an upgrade with the Meeple Source, just, you know, it's just, Pizza pie, cake, whatever. Uh, the coffee, I never could really figure out which way this coffee shape was supposed to go, to be honest. Uh, the Meeple Source blows it out of the water without question. And this little brown thing, um, you know, the Meeple Source just looks a lot better. The only one I think that's even remotely close is the wine glass. I think the wine glass is cool. I think the bottle with the wine glass is cool too. Uh, but everything else, I think the Meeple Source one just looks that much better. And this is what they're calling a deluxe edition. They could have upgraded for something like this that looked really good. I think the coffee one looks terrible. I think the brown one looks terrible. Obviously, this one looks okay. I think it's brighter because of the white that's involved, but it's really just a triangle. Uh, but this cup is really neat. But everything else, you know, I think that the Meeple Source one is much, much better than what you're getting in the Deluxe Edition. Your mileage may vary. If you get upgrading the Deluxe Edition, this is one of the big upgrades, and I think the Meeple Source is a little bit better or a lot better, if you ask me, but that is the difference.